So hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Tech Update with Techie SMS and in this series I used to cover all the latest updates maybe regarding a new event a new project new product release in the field of electronics IoT and makers community in general and this is the November 2023 edition and I got a lot of updates for you so starting with the update from Techie SMS itself which is so I recently uploaded a video about visiting the biggest electronics market in China because if you follow me on Instagram or YouTube you must be knowing that I was in China for a week and I explored the electronics market a lot of companies a lot of interviews basically for maker fair Shenzhen I went to China but I explored a couple of things as well so I uploaded a video about visiting biggest electronics market in China so I'll definitely recommend you to watch it out because it got a lot of interesting stuff for all the electronics enthusiasts out there so I'll be leaving away its link in the description other than this electronics market I also updated a couple of photos on my YouTube community post regarding whom I met and what I did in China so with this one thing is sure there's a lot of content regarding China is soon going to be uploaded on our channel so if you're interested in you know watching out that content like interview or the factory visit well you should definitely subscribe our channel because a lot of things will be coming very soon on our channel now moving on to the next update which is about the new product from maker fabs and I don't know why like this round display is in fashion or what because M5 stack released a round display based product Lily go uh, released a round display based product and now the maker fabs also release the round display based product so this is called as the mart uh, uh, mart touch esp32 s3 and if you go to the product page then this is that display as compared to the all other round display based controller boards this is the biggest one which i have seen so the size of the screen is around 2.1 inch so it's a really big touch screen and and here are a couple of the demo videos about uh, what is this board about so it also has that rotary encoder so we can use it with the encoder we can use it with the touch and we can interact it with multiple different ways uh, possible and as the name says it is based on ESP32 S3 chipset and it is using 2.1 inch display as I said earlier and it also supports Arduino that means we can you know, program it with program it with the Arduino ID and also we can use the square line studio and the LVGL library for all the G UI based application which is wonderful I still need to learn the square line studio but soon I'll, I'll take out time and learn about it and I'll definitely upload a video for that as well so that's a new product from maker fabs the smart touch ESP32 S3 rotary display which is released in this November moving on to the next update which is again a new product but from M5 stack so when I visited M5 stack uh, factory I came to know that they have a target of releasing a new product every week like just like techie sms as we used to upload a new content every week they up they they have a target of publishing or uh, having a new product every week so we will be ex uh, we can expect a lot of uh, new products in a month from one single company that's m5 tech so this is one of the new product called as air q it is not yet available on the website but they uploaded kind of a teaser as they used to do regularly on on twitter which tells a little bit about this product so if i play this video then this is this air uh, q based on m5 stamp module of uh, the m5 stamp s3 okay so we are having a lot of products in the market based on s3 chipset now uh, chipsets nowadays so uh, as the name suggests it is about air quality monitoring okay so as you can see this a uh, display got turned on so this is an e-paper display and here we can scan the qr code for all the wi-fi configuration it it's it's like that wi-fi manager that we used to use in esp32 so after scanning we can provide our wi-fi credentials to this and then it will be connected to our wi-fi router and we can access a web page on this board and on that web page we can see a lot of sensors value so we have temperature humidity pm 1.0 pm 2.5 pm 4.0 pm 10 voc and furthermore uh, nox so there are a lot of air quality based sensors in this single air q device so this is something new coming from m5 stake maybe really soon Along with this, they also published a manual about how to use this air quality. So this is again kind of a teaser, but it's not yet on the website. So we'll wait for it to come on the website and by uh, like after that, we'll come to know about what different kind of sensors are used in this display. But the, but the uh, size is very compact. If we see an air quality monitoring device, it's, it's really a compact device. So looking forward for its releasing date and we'll soon check it out. Then next up is again from M5 stack. This is stick s3 screen 
no details at all but only we can uh, assume one thing that it is also based on esp32 s3 as i said they used to make a new product every week so this is yet another product maybe coming up uh, soon on their website so yeah those were the two from m5 stack and now next is a seed studio so seed studio recently posted on their linkedin regarding this 24 gigahertz millimeter wave sensor or we can say the presence sensor but what is the attractive uh, part here is its size is ridiculously small so it's the same form factor of the Xiao board like Xiao C3, Xiao S3 as for comparison they have put a Xiao RP20 uh, development board so it's the same form factor so a presence sensor is a human uh, detection sensor at a, such a small size it's literally amazing so it's kind of a stackable device of with all the Xiao boards if you go to the official website by the way it's already released and you can purchase it for 4.49 dollars and if i scroll down uh, as we can see this is a stackable device so we can uh, plug this or we can connect this module with any of the Xiao based boards probably because this will work with rxtx the uart communication and uart port is almost available in all the Xiao based boards so we can easily configure that presence sensors with all the development boards and that's how you can make the human presence detection based projects with this new product from seed studio i love the size of the shower board they're they are really very tiny uh, development board and now we are able to see a couple of expansion boards as well so this is a millimeter wave sensor and maybe in future we can have a complete family of shower based expansion boards maybe i don't know the insider's info but this 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 reveals that they are working on this kind of expansion boards great job so that was all about the new products release in this month which i found it interesting and i i came through while scrolling my social media but there's one more update it is not a product but it is kind of a new interface so i'm talking about the arduino iot cloud and they got a a refreshed design of their cloud platform so as you can see all the menu is on now on the left hand side maybe it's device maybe it's things maybe it's dashboard and also in the dashboard they have kind of uh, added some more change. they also changed this animation logo by the way so they have kind of refreshed the complete ui now here we have a dedicated mobile layout as well so we can see the mobile layout here in the single uh, single screen we also have one more new thing added which is called as iot templates so iot template is a quicker way to get started with the arduino iot cloud based projects so what they have is they have a dedicated template for a dedicated project so you can directly use that template so you don't need to configure everything from scratch and directly start from that template which is a great thing for all those who want to quickly start with arduino projects or cloud-based projects maybe i should cover a dedicated video about how to use this arduino template what do you think well you can let me know your thoughts about uh, making a video about arduino templates down in the description of this video if i get maximum demand i'll try to cover this in one of my videos okay then we also have a tab of courses where you can get the course based on different different levels like the beginner level intermediate level and so on and now we have one more new option called as trigger which is kind of you know adding some action based upon the value of our feeds or of our uh, census data so basically this is a representation of a triggers so you can create a condition choose an action and that's it it's similar to if triple t like if this then that that kind of thing they have added dedicatedly in the arduino iot cloud so you can check that out and they also published a video covering all the latest updates whose link again will be down in the description of this video so if you have used arduino iot cloud well you can definitely check this out because they have a lot of new things in their platform now so those were all the new things uh released in the span of the month and now it's a time to check out the latest project which i really found it interesting and hopefully you will love them too that were released in the november 2023 the first one is i saw this on the seed studio linkedin page and this is called as d point by uh, published by this username which is an open source digital stylus. So it's kind of a stylus uh, which you can use to write on any flat surface and it will be displayed on a, on, on a computer. So a very interesting machine learning based project. So if I go to its LinkedIn uh, so GitHub repository where they have provided much detailed information about this project. So this works with any consumer grade web camera which will be tracking this uh, stylus with the help of this visual 
pose estimation. So that's how it will be tracking the location and everything. And this has built in Shao NRF base board, which has full six degree of freedom tracking. And those data will be sent to a BLE receiver. And after that, they will be having some EKF filter, then RTS smoothing, and then all the data will be updated to a display. And finally, we'll be able to see whatever we are writing using that stylus onto a display. And not only that, it also has a pressure sensor here, if I'm not wrong, where it is. Okay, this is a force sensor PCB, so it can also detect how much pressure we are putting on while writing that particular thing. Okay, so it's a very clever design and uh, it's open source, so you can check it out. All the files are provided here and this is the demo. So as you can see, it is writing on a flat surface and how precisely and with how low latency this thing is working truly impressive i'm really impressed with this thing so this is one of the project which i'll definitely recommend you to check it out in november 2023 moving on to the next project which i came to know about on my instagram feed so it's kind of a gps tracker based project uh, we don't have much details about it right now because the creator the maker of the project haven't revealed everything yet because he's still working on it he's still in testing position so this is a, a, a gps tracker with an built-in sd card so he, he has a thought of recording the complete uh, what we can say um, location or complete path about where this device uh, was like roaming around and not only that he is his testing right now and how i came to know that is i just visited to his uh, instagram profile and i checked out his stories and he's kind of working on this project right now so he, he says i came to a park to do some gps track record testing and there's a rotary switch uh, to see all the altitude and different different data a very clever gps tracker design i must say and in the next story he is kind of riding a bicycle with the tracker on it and checking out uh, all the data and in the third story he can see the complete path about where he drove his uh, bicycle maybe so he says it this is cool because it's working okay and other than that they he can also see a lot of data on it i don't know what is this ui is, is this the app made by him he himself i i'm not sure about this thing but it got all the data like the total time the total distance and everything so a very good gps tracker i'll definitely uh, love to check out how he made like everything from the hardware from the coding and from this application as well because we also used to work with a couple of gps trackers so i'll definitely take some inspiration out of it and maybe uh, work on some new gps tracker so this is the project uh, which i came through on my instagram feed and i thought I should definitely share this uh, with you all guys because this is really interesting, really useful. And now comes the last update of this month. It's again a project, but we don't have much information about it. I found it interesting. Uh, now this is called as zero shot image classification client running on Arduino and expressive system camera boards. Again, we don't have any detail like which kind of camera board they are working with. Probably ESP32 cam, I guess. And uh, this is uh, how it works. So we can just type out the uh, name of the object and it will automatically recognize it if the object is present in the frame or not. So if we write penguin, it can automatically recognize penguin. If we write as human, human face, then it will start searching for human faces. And if he founds, it will automatically detect and make a square on it. So yeah, that's how it works. We don't have any more information other than this single video, but it works on a machine learning model called a zero shot image classification. I'm not that much deep into machine learning, but I, when I just Googled about this zero shot, I came to know about that this is kind of a machine learning algorithm that is used for this kind of detection. So it's a different kind of thing as compared to the regular learning, because in regular learning, we need to train the model by providing a couple of images and then it can detect. But this is kind of a different thing. So I will be waiting for more details about this project because it seems definitely interesting, something new which we can learn from it. So we'll wait for it and I'll again post this <laughs> Instagram feed down in the description so maybe you can follow him to stay updated with his project so that was the last project which i found very interesting in the in the month of november and that was all the things which i thought i should share with you and now you let me know was there any one thing in this video which you were not at all aware about before watching it well if you learned something new out of this video 
do click the like button right now because this will help uh, YouTube algorithm to understand that this video was good and worth watching and it will furthermore share it with other relevant viewers and also let me know in the comments about which was that one thing which you loved the most and also let me know if should I work more on that Arduino cloud template or not you can share your thoughts down in the comments of the video and yeah that being said I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video and then explore learn share with me techie sms